Good morning, welcome back. It is Tuesday. As you see, we are going to continue our hobby box of 2023 Donruss. This time we're going to move to the two packs that are in the back stack. I don't think we've got any hits so far, at least none that I can remember right off the top of my head. That pack's a little bit thicker, but not incredibly thicker. So we've got Joey Logano there on the cover of the wrapper, 75th anniversary inserts. Be cool to pull something nice out of this box. So we're only part way through. We got quite a ways to go. So let's see here. Do a zoom and scroll as best we can. There we go. Probably the best we're going to get it. Again, I'm missing a lens cover on the back of this phone and have for quite some time because the one got cracked. And well, that's just how it goes. I'm going to start off with Kyle Weatherman. I seem to be pulling him a lot in this series. Justin Haley. <coughs> Excuse me. Justin Haley, he'll be moving over to Rick Ware Racing next year. Had to think about the name of the team. Joey Logano had a strong run Sunday. Led, I believe, 48 laps. He led a lot of laps on Sunday. Willie B, six wins this year. Nice looking race kings. Got a 90 Donruss throwback. Austin Sendrick. We have a gray border. Michael McDowell. And this is going to be our checkerboard. Kevin, I'm sorry, not a checkerboard, a fireworks or explosions. Kevin Harvick, who got DQ'd on Sunday. And Joey Logano. Yeah, that uh, Harvick DQ, a little bit controversial. Um, haven't really had a chance to hear a lot about it other than it was some of the windshield bolts that secure the windshield. So not sure what kind of performance performance advantage that would have. There's the pole sitter from Sunday, Eric Almarola. Not sure what his plans are for 2024 yet. Bubba Wallace didn't have the strong showing that he expected to have at Talladega. Ended up going from two points out of the cut line down to nine points with the race at the Roval this weekend. Taylor Gray. Tyler Reddick having a pretty quiet season. I believe he's just below the cut line. 200 wins for Richard Petty. And I'm going to say that this... Pictures from either 87 or 88 based on the uniform and the Motorsports Design logo there. Could be 89, but I'm guessing 87, 88 thereabouts. Gray Border, Daniel Suarez. Then we have a Willie B. Explosions. And then we have an Optic of Cole Custer who's back in the Xfinity Series this year. So we got two gray borders, not too bad there. That Michael McDowell's a nice one. Always think those race kings look good in the gray border. No numbered cards, no hits. I kind of think I like the uh, Willie B Elite Series here, though I wish they would have used just a slightly darker green on that. It would show up a lot better. I know they're trying to match that Raptor lettering color. But the Harvick one, to me, I mean, the optics are pretty sweet looking. The same with that Harvick is a nice looking card. So, kind of 1-1-A. One, one do like the, always like the Raptor paint job. think that the, the one from uh, 2022 is the, my favorite, that darker one. The one with the more white on it. Don't like it quite as well. It's still pretty sharp, but... That would be my card of the day. Let me know what your card of the day would be. But anyway, put these in their respective stacks and we'll uh, continue our Tuesday. So thanks for watching. We will see you later for Fast Packs.